Hello, hello, it's the Lo and Diva V in the place to be, yo, my garden. So today, y'all, we are going to be planting up some, uh, let's see, we have some white wonder watermelon. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the sun. We're going to be planting some garden beans and some cantaloupe so i know i won this um over on um uh hands in the dirt and then tigsy sent me these white wonder um watermelon so we are going to be planting these up today so what i'm gonna do is just take the soil that I have right here and put it in this area. This is just topsoil that I'm adding to the peat moss. Just for this section right here, nothing fancy. Just making sure that my seeds have some topsoil. All right, so what we are gonna do is, I'm gonna do the white wonder watermelon first. I'm excited about this. I've never had a white wonder watermelon. And maybe I have. I'm, I'm just thinking that uh, the inside of the watermelon is white. <laughs> but who knows? But we shall see. And that's what the seeds look like. So what I'm going to do is, can you guys see? You cannot. I'm going to bring y'all down a little bit more. Maybe I should put y'all in. Put y'all in the bed. How about that? Come on, hop in this bed with me. Alright, here we go. So I'm just going to do one right there. And then two. Three. Four. Five. and lucky number seven right there get off of me god dog it alright so let's cover them up and that is watermelon seeds so we're gonna get those watered in and on the other side of the bed this bed right here is just gonna be for watermelon we'll bring y'all over here in the bed with the bell peppers so we're gonna take some of these Um, what is this? The garden beans, the bush beans, and we're just gonna break up this peat moss right here. I'm gonna add some soil to this peat moss. This bed already has, um, what do you call it? We put uh, the fertilizer in here, the cow manure in here already. So just gonna add some soil 
even though the bush beans don't need any fertilizer. Also, both of these beds are gonna get, this is just eggshells. So we're gonna put it all in both, all of the beds actually. We're gonna put them in all of the beds. Especially with the tomatoes. The tomatoes need that calcium. So let's move over here to the tomatoes. And stand y'all back up. And we're just gonna sprinkle some of this into Put a little bit about a little bit by the gel peppers. Well, how the peanut peppers also. Okay. Calcium helps to prevent root rot on your tomato plants. <laughs> Have a little bit more. I'm gonna leave that there for right now. And so we're gonna come back over to this bed right here. over at this bed right here and what we're gonna do is take this soil in this container right here and just dump it out into the bed it out mix it in with some of that peat moss just a little bit gonna do is we're gonna plant up some of these garden beans right at the edge so if I need to put a trellis right here I can They don't give it that many, so I'm gonna plant all of these. So, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. 
So that is the garden bush beans. And that one. And I know they say beans don't need no fertilizer, but we're going to put a little of the calcium over here too. All right, so let's go check out my okra, y'all. So I planted, can y'all see? So right here is a garlic, um, and then that ain't nothing. Here is an okra plant right here. Um, we have one, I think that's one right there. I threw a bunch of seeds over in this area. We definitely have some more over here. So we have one right here, two, three, four in this area. Minus all the weeds. So that is the okra that we have. Um, in this area we have four so total four five so we have six okra plants growing and i'm going to come back and plant some more in this area this is the mint is doing good that grows like crazy check on so this is more mint this is a mulberry that is the basil that is going to seed smells so good this is a squash in this container right here um and this is the jamaican sorrel the roselle um, and then these two, I'm letting go to seed also. these This is um, mustard greens. This one and uh, let's move here. this one right here. You guys can see all those seed pods. Those are going to seed. So we're going to just let them. And then we have another basil right here. All right, all right, all right. So that's it. We're not going to plant the cantaloupe today. We're not going to plant the cantaloupe today. It is, what, 5 o'clock? Almost 5 o'clock. And it's pretty hot out here. Oh, let me show y'all. So y'all... I took a onion and put it in the ground in this garden bed right here. Let me bring y'all down. Let's see. Can y'all see my hand? All right. Y'all see this? It's like four different onions. Yes. Yeah, right there. Four different onions. Yeah. Oh, in this section. So I don't know if I should take this and split this up or leave it. What do y'all think I should do? Should I split them up and let them grow individually? And look, they got the little um. I don't know the onion tops on there. I don't know if I should split them up or just leave them alone. I 
All right, y'all. It's hot. Let's get out of the sun. Salon Diva B in the place to be, y'all. My garden. So we're gonna walk get these um, watermelon seeds and the bush beans watered in. And I'm about to run. Run for it, run for it, run. Back inside. All right. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for hanging out. If you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Share me with your family and your friends. Check out my social media profiles below. Um, and join me on my other social media profiles. And until I see you guys in the next video. It's the Lawn Diva V in the place to be, y'all. My garden. You know what it is. You know what it is. Peace.